Hey guys, so just a quick update on the car. Uh, there's a been a bit of a mishap on the car, so when I was reversing, I unfortunately hit the curb. Um, so one of the things that got damaged was the wheel over here, which is just very annoying. And bumper, as you can see, I just did a bit of a touch up, which was quite bad. And the carbon fiber got cracked, as you can see. Um, I thought that I could maybe just ignore it but you know it's one of these things where you just keep looking at it and you know it gets on your nerves i decided to reorder another front lip and this is the front lip as you can see uh the quality obviously is very good i'm quite happy with the quality of it as it came in shipped from china now the next step is for the repaint of the body what i'll have to do is remove the front lip get it repainted and then come back and then probably at home fix on the new front lip and there's a bit of work to be done and on my last videos I never actually did a kind of a DIY on the actual front lip itself so this would be something for anyone who's interested in fitting a front lip themselves from uh, any of the OEM manufacturers from China. What we're going to do is just remove the front lip now and the front lip is basically secured by screws. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But there's basically self-tap screws all down the down the bottom of the uh, front lip attached to the bottom bumper so what we're gonna do is just as I said remove that and then uh, tomorrow I'll be sending it for um, painting and that'll take three days and when I get it back we will be reattaching the front lip so I'll make a small video for you guys just to see how that works out so yeah we'll come back on that one and uh, stay tuned ramp made out of wood uh, this is just something very easy to do if you don't have a jack and uh, that's just you guys can see how it's done uh, kind of double support on the wood uh, just to raise it slightly um, and you have easy access to the bottom so just be careful when you're doing this obviously in case the wood snaps if you haven't secured it properly so we've taken out all the uh, screws as you can see and the last one just to do is just the middle area I had put some 3M tape in between as well, so the screws have kind of been removed, but the 3M tape still holding it off, so just that to be removed, and we have the front lip finally off. That's taken a good 15, 20 minutes just to do that. So yeah, let's uh, come back to that when that's done. So we finally removed it. This is how the car looks without the front lip. It looks a little bit weird, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, I think the front lip makes a big difference to the car, especially on the M4. But yeah, let's just have a look at what happened to the front lip itself as you can see this is the damage that occurred on the carbon so I mean like even though it was hit slightly hard when uh, reversing the curb it was still okay actually the, the carbon fiber is holding quite well uh, it's just uh, you know it just kind of gets on your nerves when you have little quality issues on the, on the actual car and uh, yeah as you can see this part here was cracked also and there's a big line that goes all the way across it so i'm not sure how long this would last but you know it's kept up to build quality up till now um yeah let's kind of have a look at the bottom area and that's where you can see where when you're driving a car especially the m4 and you've got a front lip it makes it very low and these are all the scratches that have occurred when you go over the bumps that's one of the things that if you don't have a good quality carbon fiber front lip then you're going to have either cracks or it'll just completely break off so luckily mine did hold off it gives people a good idea on how how much damage can occur onto a front lip when you're going over bumps and things like that so just be careful and go quite slowly obviously over the bumps this is not a higher up car or a four four by four so just be careful and uh, let's go you can see this is the new front lip that's yet to be placed on. As I mentioned in the last video, we had the uh, scratches at the bottom area kind of uh, retouched. As you can see over here, there was a uh, big scratch like somewhere around there and that's been sorted out. And also the wheel itself has been uh, repainted, which is nicely done now. We now have over here, the two lips. The one over here, the battered one is the old one which is going to be replaced. So what we're doing right now is just uh, drilling the the exact holes in the same locations uh, as we had done earlier so that hopefully they match with the car underneath. 
fortunately both of them looked fairly old. Uh, it's just been collecting dust for the past two weeks. Uh, that's just the current phase we're in now. So it's just putting in the holes just to match with the old ones so they can fit at the bottom. And once that's done, we'll start putting them at the bottom and hopefully things go nice and easy. There's always complications, unfortunately, with these things. Just to let you guys see how my old lip was. You know, we have quite a few bumps here in Dubai and if you don't go over them, you know, at a very slow speed, you're gonna have nice little scratches just like that. Now, if you're gonna be putting a front lip on your M4, as it is, it's already fairly low. You're gonna have to drive either very slowly or think secondly about whether you're gonna put a front lip or not because, you know, these things are not cheap to replace. Yeah, as you can see here, it's a bit of muck here and there. It's fairly heavily damaged in the middle area. Um, and scratches here on the end. Luckily, I never had any bad cracks on the uh, lip itself, so it did last up to, up to the end until I made the uh, parking uh, curb error. It's a good time to replace it, I think, anyway, so it's lasted a good year or so, something so, like that. Uh, we've got the, uh, the new lip already done. I'll just show you a quick video on how we did the holes matching with the old one. As you can you see, it's the old one, and this is uh, Yogi. Yogi, come here. Yogi. Yogi. As you can see here, so the holes have done. We've cleaned it up a bit. It's been about two weeks since my last video. Uh, a bit of uh, laziness and also traveling for work. This is the car itself. We've just got it on our homemade kind of ramp. I had to get new uh, self tapping screws, as you can see here, with the uh, soft uh, washer. Uh, just so it doesn't scratch the bottom. Yeah, so this one here, the new one, is a little bit better because it's got a full carbon fiber body while the other one was hollow. So hopefully this one will be able to last longer than the uh, old one. I'll just make a quick video on us installing it and then we'll see how it looks at the end. Okay guys, so basically we've got the uh, two main uh, back uh, <coughs> screws that are in now. The most difficult part is obviously putting the two main back uh, symmetrical screws in, which are already part of the BMW body. As you can see, I'll show you an old one. Um, these are these points here and here. And obviously, to put them exactly in those positions, you're going to have to like kind of push and tug to make sure it kind of uh, fits exactly as for that. So that's the hard part done. Now we will be doing the other, other holes, which are just kind of standard, just to keep it in place. Guys, so we're finally done. It took a little bit longer than usual because uh, this was not the hollow type like the last one, as you saw when I demonstrated the differences between this and the old one. I had to obviously get larger nails so they could go through all the way rather than having a single layer. This had double layer. You know, it just took a little bit of extra work. Probably about a 45 minute job if you got a bit of help like I did. I would not recommend doing this on your own because it's just very difficult to kind of balance it and not uh, make sure that anything gets cracked uh, while you're doing this. Uh, they always have support on one end to the other uh, when you're doing it. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty good um, quality of the carbon fiber. The beast is back to its former glory. Just kind of walk you through the side. Carbon fiber ring mirrors, carbon fiber side skirts. The, uh, obviously the, uh, the back lip blacked out AC Schnitzer or AC Schneitzer badge M4 in black uh, carbon fiber diffuser and AC Schneitzer exhaust system which is the beast same thing with the M performance and yeah that's how the front is if you guys want to see at the bottom how we did it it's just a bit of nails with uh, support washers, obviously, obviously always make sure you've got these in, in place. The most important part is this one and this one here because they go directly into the existing holes that BMW had put so just make sure that they match and the rest kind of just go into the bottom body of the, uh, of the car. Just be aware that you will be having to drill through the bumper of the car if that 
upsets you or you're not in interested in doing that then you know just don't go for the lip yeah i think it makes it look a lot nicer i've had the car without the lip for a while now quite happy to have it back um and yeah i'll just kind of remove it back from the bit of out of breath from all this it's like a bit of exercise i'll just grab it back up roger can you just just hold this Thanks for watching and hopefully if you have any questions or anything let me know in the comments below.